Hello everyone, and welcome back to more civili uh, Civilization 4 Caveman the Cosmos with me, Idiotic Ma, playing on Immortal Difficulty. So, we're going to be playing as Yunu Pingu, and we we found out, like, I had to do a lot of, what, we've spent the last 10 minutes trying to figure out, like me and Hold Your Fire, trying to figure out who the fuck this person is, Yunu, Yunu Pingu, and... From what we can tell, it's a Galar... Galar Y Unipingu. Galar Wu Unipingu? I... I can't pronounce the name properly. I'm going to say Unipingu. Um, and we, ad we agree with politician because he was a politician. He got the rights for uh, Aborigines to use land. Agricultural doesn't make sense. From what we can see... He was a musician, so even cultural there would have made sense. Diplomacy would make sense. And industrial would have made sense. Uh, because he also had a thing for mining. But we just can't see the reason for agricultural. Idealistic, yeah, fine. Um, the negative traits, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But that's what I'm going to go down. What route we're going to go down. We're going to go down the diplomat route, the industrial route, and the cultural route. Politician is part of the diplomat route. Um, so yeah, that is how we are going to play this game. I'm going to have to go down the um, conquest route at some point because I can't win it any other way. There's no chance I'll win it through uh, science because it takes too fucking long. There's no way I'm winning it through um, culture because I turned that off because it's dumb. The AI will win within the first 1000 turns. Um, Conquest we can do. Mastery. No, not mastery. Mercy mode we could do. We could win it through mercy. So that's always a thing I could try to get. Anyway, let's continue. So, let's see our starting location. And as per usual, eh, well, per usual, uh, as we know, we started with size matters. So that means I have multiple people. And I want these guys to move as fast as physically possible. So I can see where the fuck I'm going. Um, okay. This is also the first time I have you I have been the oceanic route. So that will be fun. Um, okay. The game wants me to settle here. I don't see why not. I don't also. I also don't like this area. So I'll I'll go here, and then I'll figure out what's around. I can do a couple of turns of nothing. Um, we are going to go down the language route, which might change. We are. I am unsure yet. Um. Yeah. You go here. Let's, oh, okay, there's caves. There is, there is a possibility I can get it in. I do have yummy, yummy reeds. I have yummy, yummy reeds here, but if I go here, I don't have yummy, yummy um, rivers. But I have yummy, yummy caves, and yummy, yummy caves are tasty. Tasty, tasty. We also get um, rocky terrain, which is actually not bad. It does give me hammers, and hammers at the start of the game are, as we all know, fucking insane. I th I actually think this is the best location. Because, well, that. It also gives me desert. So if I go here, I get desert. I get a lot of hills. A lot of, Jesus, how many hills is that? One, two, three, four, five hills. That's a good amount of hills. I lose out on the river. I gain three hills and caves and rocky terrain. I lose 
What do I lose? I lose a river. And... Lush. Oh, that's new. That's new. It tells you the terrain's spot. Oh, I like that. It tells you it has 12... Whatever the fuck that is. And this tells you... Okay, what? I want to know the veil. So it's telling me I can spot that. Um, but I want to know the veil. So, two disguise. No, one disguise. Two veil. I'm pretty sure that's veil. And 12... Something. And that's only because he's there. It's 10 base. Something. I don't know what that is. Also, yeah, that's actually really nice. The extra shit that is added. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is the best location to go with. Um, I might lose out on some really fucking good resource. This, ha this tile has a really good chance of spotting stone or something. Um, the same as like desert has a really good chance of spawning something nice. Holy shit! That makes this, this location even, even fucking better. Oh my fucking god. I don't remember the last time I started with a, a natural wonder. I do not remember the last time I started with a natural wonder and it is fucking pog. It is pog. Gee, I had to stop for a second there because Jesus Christ, this is amazing. I don't even know what it does, but I don't really give a fuck because it's a natural wonder. And they're so, so strong. Okay. Ayan uh, Tepu. Te tepui? Is a Tepui a tabletop mount? We're playing tabletop mountain. <laughs> We're not playing tabletop Warhammer. We're playing tabletop mountains. Or a Mesa. In Venezuela. It is the most visited and one of the largest Mesas in the Guana Highlands, the uneven heart shaped summit plateau of this is heavily inclined. Tabletop Mountain Simulator. I know! I know! We're playing Tabletop Mountain Simulator. We're no longer playing Civilization. We're playing Tabletop Mountain Simulator. Uh, rising from around 1,600 metres in the northwest to a maximum of 24, 2450 uh, metres in the south. So that's one kilometre um, to nearly two kilometres. No, no, no. Not kilometres. Fuck. No, that's wrong. One mile. 1,600. No, that's 100 miles. One... Point six, no, one thousand six hundred meters is one point six kilom. My brain just went. One hundred meters is one hundred meters. One thousand meters is a kilometer. My brain just went. Ooh. And one point six kilometers is one mile. So that is one mile. Uh. Rising from around one mile in the northwest to a maximum of one and a half miles in the southeast. That doesn't... That is a lot, but it doesn't sound like a lot when you say a mile. Um, it is incised from the north by a va vast valley, the Devil's Canyon, 
the larger western portion of the plateau is partially forested, whereas the eastern part comprises mostly bare rock with only patchy vegetation cover. The mountain hosts a number of extensive cave systems. And that that stops me going here. I'm going here. Yeah, I'm going... Mm, yeah, I'm going here. I could go here. But I lose out on... It, it looks like a lot. It looks like a lot if I move there. Um, see, I don't know what's here. There could, could be caves here. But I think... Oh. Oh, there's... N oh. Well. Well, shit. There's... N okay. I, I'm, I'm glad I didn't come down here to colonize. Well, shit. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. I don't see why I wouldn't settle right here. Jungle is plus one on health, I'm pretty sure. Um, there's a lot of jungle here, so that's not great. Can you see why I wouldn't settle here? Hold your fire. If I settled here... I lose out on the mountains. I gain a hill. And I gain a couple of sea tiles. And if I settle here, I can settle one here. If I settle here, I can't settle one there. And that's one off the coast. I don't like being one off the coast. Yeah, I, ca I can't see why I wouldn't settle here. There's nothing, mm, yeah. Okay, Nagorongo, uh, no, no, oh, people have found quite, mm. I currently don't like the way things look. Who do you hate? Fuck you. Suck on my dick! I don't like this. Because... There's nothing up here. And I really hope there's something down here. Else I have one fucking... Well, not one city, but... I have very, very little to do. Anyway, I think this is probably my... F the best place to go. And yeah, we'll call this Hold Your Fire. And we're going to go with the Prime Mail to start with. And we are just going to build up checkpoints. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, Crime Fighting is usually the best one for me to do, I find. So we've got seven turns for Cave Dwelling. Which gives me plus one, plus one health in all cities, and will auto build the cave dwelling. Yeah, which will give me plus two hammers and plus one um, commerce, and then I can build one of these. And they're all the exact same. There's no difference between them, um, and. It's pretty much just a uh, random, random that the AI might get it or might not before you. Let's uh, continue down this way. I really don't like. That's another two mountains. So, this area is incredibly defensible, but also might be incredibly small. I, uh, I am not liking my, oh my god, thank fuck. <laughs> I was not liking my chances, but it looks like there is an area over here. So I, I'm, I'm liking my chances a little bit more. 
now. Victoria Falls has been found. It has been found. Mount Sinai has been found. Um, after cave dwelling, I do want language. Yeah, language, and then that is correct, isn't it? Language gives me the wonder. So what does this wonder give me? I don't even know. Um, where are we? Nope, 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 nope. Wait, do I not get it? Oh my god, I... I don't get it. Huh. Okay. Okay. I need... No, it is language. I... What? Oh, there it is. Duh! So it gives me plus two happiness, plus one health. Whatever. Plus two uh, commerce, which is really nice. Plus five culture. Meh. Plus two... Great people points and a great scientist. Fuck yeah. Okay. I like that. That's really good. And it gives me shit on society. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's continue. Yeah, I don't see why I would settle over here compared to here. Like the caves are just too good. They're not as good as what it used to be, but so they're still really good. Oh yeah, uh, a match of man, run the savage. <laughs> uh, let's keep going this way. Let's look around. I still haven't found any. Well, that's a lot of caves. I still haven't found any um, goody huts, and I'm pretty sure I, I left goody huts on. Oh, there's a goody hut. A nomad, I will remain for life, in love with distant and uncharted places. It's not a bad start. That's not a bad start. A free tech. Don't mind if I do. One just princess from the depths of a cave is more powerful than an army. Yep. I don't like this, however. I don't like seeing that an AI is that close. At least, at least I am stupidly defensible here. Um, but this is not good. I, I, this is a... Uh, yeah, this is um, not happy. Not happy about that. We'll figure out what to do, but I I get one goody hut, and that's it. I and no more goody huts for me. No more goody huts for me. What am I going to build first? It really doesn't matter, cause there's a chance that's. The AI are already building whatever the fuck I choose. Choose one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do I? I don't have a. Do I have a D six? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'll figure out. Yeah. I have a D six. <laughs> I'm gonna roll a D six. <laughs> I got a six. We'll get the Pedro. <laughs> oh, they also fixed that. Nice. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's uh, animals spawning now. Okay, that's a thing. Um, so he's over here. There's a chance that there's something down here, but at the same time, maybe not. We'll see. 
Oh. 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 Oh, that's, that's, um... That's close. That's really fucking close. Wow. Okay. Okay. That's um That's a thing. Uh, it does mean spies are really are going to be really good and possibly things to trade with We'll see like money might not be a problem and if I can keep him friendly then it'll be nice Really? Um, I need to get people over here. So, I'm, I'm, I, uh, I'm just flabbergasted right now. Just completely fucking baffled. Because the AI spawned here. Which we can tell. Barringer Crater spawned here. This AI hasn't seen this. We are the first people to find Barringer Crater. How? He has three units. All of them down this way. Nanny? Nanny is right, son. Nanny is right. Artificial stupidity. Yes. Not intelligence. Not AI. AS. What the fuck? Um, that does mean that if I, there shouldn't be, there should be, um, it, like, it, it makes it even worse that I spend, it takes me many turns to get over there. He, okay, he can build a cave of wonders. He also built one off the fucking coast. <sighs> fucking... AI. It does mean that I can't get past once he has one border pop. But he could have settled there. Which would be so much fucking better. You know what? As soon as I get this uh, goddamn city, it's getting burnt to the goddamn ground. Fuck this city. It's getting burnt. <laughs> Fuck you, Sue. You dumbass piece of Language shit. Language is not only the vehicle of thought. Folklore. It is a great and efficient instrument. Think. Uh, yes. So let's go down. I think I want oral tradition for the extra um, science. Yeah. Let's just go this way. God damn it, AI.
So how long would this take to build? It would take me... It would take me five turns. And I'm definitely going to build that after I built the um, Pedra Farada. If I don't get that, I'm not really too bothered. I would like this, and I'm pretty sure I built like five AI. So there's a chance that all of these could have been built before I even get a chance. There is a chance. There is a chance that can happen. Uh, okay, so my um, presence of wait, what? They're new. What? Presence of fire, presence of sea. They're new, aren't they? I don't remember these. I don't remember these. Needed to build. Book. Oh, that's cool. Pretty sure that's new. Okay. It's Quattle. At least it's not fucking Montezuma. But. But it does mean that we're getting no goody huts. It does mean that we're. We. We have a fucking line. We're a dick. This is a dick. It's a. Oh, it's a dick. We're on a deck. We're on a deck. There's the tip. There's the ball. There's the other ball. It's a misshapen deck. Anyway, yeah, we're on a line. We're on a goddamn line. And there's another AI right here. What the actual fuck? We're on a deck. See, this was discovered by someone else. This was not discovered by you. You're... F You can get both natural uh, natural wonders in one city, and that would be the stupidest fucking place to put a city, especially if you started there, because you would also get rivers. You'd be one off the coast, granted, and concern how much I hate being one off the coast. But Jesus fucking Christ. It's becoming an even longer deck. It's becoming an even longer deck. What the fuck game? It's getting longer. <laughs> it's getting longer. Oh, oh, there's something there. He's fucking stopping it. There's the tip. Fuck. Also, really, it sort of makes sense why you'd go there to stop anybody from being able to fucking get that. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this landmass? Right, we found the tip. What the fuck is this landmass?
I have to take a picture of that. That's a... Uh... So, from what I can tell, I can't believe that two fucking AI spawned right next to me. Anyway, so, from what I can tell, it looks like Java. From what I can tell, I am not getting any um, animals because I have this space to hunt. I have very little space to hunt and the AI will get... I really don't like this start, but I'm also not wanting to restart because we've got this. Like we've, so this is an amazing start once I get rid of the AI. Once the AI are gone, there is no fucking chance this is not one of the best starts I've ever had. With Barringer Crater, Victoria Falls, Basalt Oregon, and uh, Iron Tap Tapai right next to me. It's not, this is one of the best starts I've ever had. But it's also one of the worst because of two AI right next to me. And I, I have to kill both of these guys. There is no, there's nothing other than I have to kill them. And I might even burn their cities down to the ground. This, so this city location isn't actually bad. It's a nice like blockade. It's a Constantinople type thing, which isn't bad. So I get this. I guess this can be my Constantinople. I might even ch change that uh, from Tenoch Chitlin to Constantinople. But we also know how much the AI likes to build units. Anyway, I will see you all in the next episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you all had fun and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.